Yo, dog, Kenny Boucher here, Next Level Painting, hitting you up on the literal best of all days, coming to you from the Beats Lab in Hollywood, California. We're doing it again. I've got Gasgol. He's almost done. We've been doing some Twitch paint alongs on our live stream. He almost done, but I did film some of these things for you guys today. I didn't film the True Metallic Claw. We just did a video on this exact subject, so I didn't find it necessary to deliver to you guys another identical video. But look, I'm going to go back in time. This is right after we did some airbrushing, did the claws. We haven't even done the edge highlights yet. We still haven't even finished the skull. And then I'm going to show you after one Twitch stream how we did some of the edge highlights. But first, let's grab some transparent black. And you can see now we're interacting with a Gazgo who has some edge highlights. You can catch those videos on Patreon. We're going to use transparent black from Creature Caster Pro Krill. And we're going to just start boxing out some checkers. We're going to take our time. We're going to work thin. I did paint the gob, the jaw there. I did paint it gray. I shifted it off of the metals and changed it to gray. And this is just going to be an easier, uh, I want to say primer for both colors to stick to. The black's going to stick to it. The white's going to stick to it. I've done checkers many different ways. Now, his, his jaw is big enough that you can just actually paint the checkers. You can see we're moving the model, trying to paint with straight lines. If you can get away with it, you try to go, you know, up, down, paint it to you, drag the paint to you. Uh, if you feel confident, you can go left, you can go right. Always feel free to move the model and take, a take your time doing that. It will help you sometimes keep your line straight, dragging to you with the tip of the brush. Now, this is just transparent black. It does pretty good work here, but you do have to up the opacity, do a second pass, Gives you another opportunity to carve those lines in and make them straight. And then you do have another opportunity to straighten up any stray lines when you do the opposing checkers. Now working with gray, like I said, is a great segue. Both the white and the black will stick to it. He's looking pretty good. We did all the checkers on both sides. I kind of looked at the box art, saw where they put them, and I tried to put them in the same place. Now I'm going to grab a bright <clears throat> warm gray. Now, we're going to try to keep these checkers a little warm. A lot of his whites are on the warm side instead of the cold side. And we're going to thin it down, keep it kind of glazy, maybe thinner than you normally would paint. And we're just going to repaint these opposing checkers with just some straight lines. Just like, real quick, line, 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 line. We're just going to make them thin, warm gray. We're going to let that dry, maybe do it again. Pretty simple. Take your time, though. Like I said, I like to move toward my heart when I'm doing these little lines. Sometimes I will break that rule, but for the most part, I'll try to move the model to facilitate an easier line. This is freehand. Like, don't get it twisted. Even though it's geometric, it's just shapes, you do have to be cognizant of the fact that you're not able to trace any feature in the model. There's no lines here. This is easily accomplished by brush control, patience, and trying to move the model more than your paintbrush. So we're gonna draw these straight lines. I'm gonna flip them over and you see we're gonna bring that line right up. We're gonna reinforce, try to start boxing out maybe an edge highlight around the square and then kind of fill in the, the, the gaps. You know, I'm alternating between a thicker mix for the lines that I'm drawing and a thinner mix for the gap filling in between. We do want these edges to have a bit of a transition but a, more importantly, a crisp line. So now we're gonna grab some bold titanium white and we're gonna do some nice, strong white edges. This is straight, unfucked with, just a tiny bit of flow improver. These are edge highlights. We're just boxing in the white checkers, drawing a little bit of a border around them and any angle in between, we're gonna catch a little line there too. Important to move the model, facilitate these angles so you can just make straight, small adjustments with your paintbrush that is honestly the name of the game when it comes to edge highlighting. Using the tip of your brush, you should try to be doing straight lines. When you're using the edge of your brush, you should be trying to go left and right. Always hold your breath. Always swing it from right to left. Carve them in. Make them look tight. Now, there's no real reason that you need to edge highlight a flat 2D surface that was obviously painted on this model by this model. Narratively, it just looks cool. And I don't give a fuck. Trace it in. Catch those edges, pow, shift this, the, the model, do your straight lines, too easy. This also gives you an opportunity to fix any 
stray edges that don't look their cleanest and make them a little bit cleaner. Even though he's an orc, it still looks better to have clean lines. Now we're gonna grab our black, mix a little of the white in it, and this is a dark gray. We're gonna trace the lines with this dark gray, and some of them are gonna get fucked up. It's okay. We've got more steps to do. Black is actually really easy if you understand that at any point you can go back to the black and erase stray lines, even smooth them out, even create a subtle transition. Real easy. So we're just drawing the same types of lines. I'm being a little bit more brave here because I know black is easy. Drawing those lines on those edges, blah, blah, blah. Got it. Now let's carve them up a little bit more. We got a little bit more white in the mix. We're trying to be a little bit more deliberate, using our straight lines, holding our breath, dragging it to our heart, really up in the ante, trying to make some nice, just poppy lines, almost a neon black, similar to the rest of his armor. And this might create, you know, the illusion that these panels are three-dimensional. It might not. Like I said, I don't care. I just like the way it looks. So focusing on straight lines, using the tip of the brush. There we go. It's beautiful. Now, some of these lines are a little thick. I don't like them in some cases. That's fixed with a little glaze technique. Going back to the black. It's all good. Take your time. Do it all before you go into the editing phase. So now, since I have a little black on my brush, I'm going to thin it down, make it into a glaze. I'm going to put some rings around some of these nuts. I'm going to add a little bit of a, sh a shadow. Always wash them nuts. This is just straight, transparent black. Thin down. Since we're here looking at this model, figuring out ways to technically add to it, what we're going to do next is grab some silver. Any silver will do. And we're going to start hitting them nuts. Pa-cling, pa-cling. Make them look their best. We're letting things settle, letting things dry, staying busy in the Beats Lab, adding our technical effects. Just adding details, making them look his best. Now let's grab a little uh, orange. Any orange will do. Honestly, I'm just thinning it down, creating some shadows, button it up right against anything you can, create a nice subtle staining, maybe where two pieces of metal meet, and maybe a little rust is formed. There we go. Looking his absolute best. Gasgo, you're my dude. Now, like I said, I used Buster Brown and maybe some Buster Orange, but you can use anything you want. Now there he is, he's looking magnificent, thugnificent even. Guys, go is my favorite model to date. Anyway guys, play on players. If you like these tutorials, check out Next Level Painting on Patreon. Become a patron of the arts today. We offer early and exclusive access to our videos and a rewards program for different pledge levels. Patreon is PayPal and credit card secure, so you don't have to worry about that. We use 100% of the money to improve our process.